As Soldier 76, obtaining the high ground is pretty important. In some cases, getting to high ground is pretty simple, but there are some places that you can't reach without some sort of vertical mobility. So in this video, we're going to go over useful rocket jumps that 76 can perform on all of the two CP maps, otherwise known as assault maps. First, I will just show you the jumps, moving from one jump to the next. After all the jumps have been displayed, I will explain the uses for each jump. Timestamps for the explanations for each jump will be in the top right corner as well as in the description below. The current map pool of 2CP and Assault maps consists of Hanamura, Horizon Lunar Colony, Temple of Anubis, and Volskaya Industries. We'll go from left to right starting with Hanamura and finishing off with Volskaya Industries. For Hanamura, I already have a video explaining the jumps, so if you'd like to see that, link to the video will be at the end as well as in the description. This spot can be useful if you'd like to obtain high ground quickly so that you can pump in some early damage to your enemies. Generally, people won't be expecting you to appear there so early within the game, so you can potentially get in some free damage and get a little bit of alt charge. Other than that, the spot doesn't extend past this reason as you'll generally need to push closer to the point so that you can help your team capture it. If you find yourself having trouble going up the right side stairs, you can flank your enemies by rocket jumping off this wall. It's especially good if you find that there's only one or two enemies holding the stairs like a Junkrat, as you can easily catch them off guard for a kill and a way for your team to get past the spam. After obtaining the high ground, you can use this opportunity to flank enemies from above. You can't really use this spot to flank enemies on your own as you'll likely be dropped in right in the middle of all of them, but it isn't too bad of a spot if you're looking to cause havoc from above. This can be especially good to get around shields as your team attacks from another angle. You can rocket jump to the other tires within the room, but chances are that you'll be spotted before you can. You should use this spot to add a surprise factor to your attack. For defense, I really like this spot on the high ground. It can be pretty difficult to reach as it's nearly at the peak of how high you can rocket jump. This spot is especially nice if the enemy team has a tracer as you can easily attack her from here without being threatened by her. You can see a majority of the angles the enemy team can come from while maintaining your distance from them. You can also do this on the ground just below but then that leaves you open to being attacked from the open room just on the right. Just be careful when using this spot if the enemy team has a Widow or Hanzo. Even though you're safe, you're still isolating yourself to an extent which can make you an easier target for them. 
This spot can be good for both attackers and defenders as long as you have control of the steers which allow you to make the jump in the first place. The high ground is good as it gives you nearby cover as well as vision of pretty much the entire battlefield. The only thing you have to really worry about is the high ground on the opposite side of the point. Other than enemies from there, it is pretty easy to fall back and heal with your biotic field in the event that you start taking heavy damage. The only enemy that you really need to be worrying about is Widowmaker as she's really good on the first point here and can easily take you out with only one shot if she manages to see you. If you're on attack, chances are Widowmaker will be standing here so you can use this jump to maybe get close to her and take her out, or on defense, chances are that she's going to be using the bridge near the choke in order to try and snipe people from above, which in that case you have to be careful since long range battling against a widow as soldier 76 isn't always a good idea. Generally, you'll be using this rocket jump after a fight or if you need to adjust your current positioning. You can use this fountain on the point to gain a little bit of extra elevation to make the jump easier so that you can quickly get to high ground. This is really useful as it makes you a lot less vulnerable compared to running all the way around to get to the high ground on the left side. With this rocket jump, you can make it to high ground without putting yourself out of position. When attacking point B, you can use the gap on the right hand side to flank enemies. This is useful to get a pick on someone like a Widowmaker or an enemy hitscan that is sitting on the bridge. You can also use this spot as an opportunity to use your ulti from an unexpected angle while your team attacks from the front. This spot can be risky. You can get in some early damage this way, but it leaves you vulnerable to stay here. This jump is more useful for getting on top of the building for a flank on enemies. You may not want to stay here for long, but you can use this after winning a fight to get a cheesy pick or use your ultimate. Enemies generally won't expect you to be sitting up here as long as they don't see you when they're respawning. If you decide to use this middle high ground here on point A, you can rocket jump to either side to the other high ground, whether that be to the right or to the left. You can use these rocket jumps to maintain high ground and reduce the amount of time it takes to get from one high ground to the next. This allows you to maintain the advantages that you get from high ground without putting yourself on the ground where you would otherwise need to use time to climb back up. On point B, you can use the small lump in the center to reach the high ground quickly. This greatly reduces the amount of time it takes to get to high ground and you can use it as a way to get back up after being pushed off. You can also rocket jump to other platforms of high ground as a way to play more aggressively or to put yourself in a position to duel someone who's attempting to flank. And that's all of the current 2CP and assault maps. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions about Overwatch, you can leave a comment down below or join my Discord server. The link will be in the description. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.